Hi students, in the last class we discussed the series operation of SCRs by considering its static characteristics. So today we will discuss the dynamic characteristics of series connected SCRs. Like static characteristics, the SCRs with the same rating and specification do not have identical dynamic characteristics. So dynamic characteristics means the characteristics of switch when it changes from on state to off state. So here we are discussing the unequal voltage distribution during the transient conditions of turn on and turn off. First we will discuss turn on switching. Turn on switching means the switch changes from its off state to on state means from forward blocking state to forward conduction state. When T less than 0, that is this portion switches in the off state. Therefore, the voltage across the string, string voltage is equal to Vs. So, voltage across the string is Vs. So, it is an act as an open switch and also string voltage Vs is shared by each SCR. So, voltage shared by the SCR T1 is Vs by 2 and T2 is Vs by 2. So, voltage shared by both the SCR are Vs by 2. So, both T1 and T2 share same voltage Vs by 2. Also, the turn on time of thyristor T1 is less than compared to turn on time of thyristor T2. So at time T is equal to 0. That is at time T is equal to 0. We are applying gate pulses to both the SCRs T1 and T2. If we are applying the gate pulses, as we already discussed, the turn on time of T1 is less compared to turn off time of T2. As T1 has less turn on time, it will get turned on at the instant T1. So now uh, up to this point, both T1, T2 have the same characteristics. So T1 has the less turn on time, it will turn on at time T is equal to T1. And the voltage across T1 is now forward voltage drop. And here also the voltage across the T1 reduces to forward voltage drop. So this is the characteristics of first thyristor T1. When the voltage across the T1 drops from Vs by 2 to almost 0, at the same instant, the voltage across T2 will boost from Vs by 2 to almost Vs. So, the characteristics of T2 means its voltage boost from Vs by 2 to Vs. Voltage across the second SCR V2 is approximately equal to Vs. Here, string uh, voltage is Vs because all the string voltage is handled by the thyristor T2. After the time interval delta T, the thyristor T2 is turned on. So, when thyristor T2 turned on, its voltage drops from Vs to forward voltage drop. Here also, the, uh, when both the SCRs are on, the string voltage Vs is dropped to almost zero. So, this is the characteristics of T2. So, this is the characteristics of T2. From the turn on characteristics, it is clear that the voltage shared by two SCRs are unequal due to the different turn on time. So next we will discuss 
turn off switching turn off switching means ssr changes from on state to off state that is from forward conduction state to forward blocking state here we will see the anode voltage and anode current characteristics of thyristors t1 and t2 providing suitable commutation technique we are turning off the sscrs t1 and t2 from its forward conduction state so this is the characteristics of sscr1 so this is the device turn off time of sscr1 next we will draw the turn off characteristics of sscr2 so this is the turn off switching characteristics of sscr2 and, and its device turn off time tq2 is this much so from the characteristics it is clear that during turn off also sscr1 how less turn off time compared to ssr2 and also they are developing different reverse recovery voltages that is two ssrs have unequal voltage across them during turn off process so we can concluded that during turn on and turn off the capacitance of the reverse biased junctions determines the voltage distribution across ssrs in a series connected string as reverse biased junctions have different capacitances the voltage distribution during turn on and turn off periods would be unequal so voltage equalization can be achieved by employing shunt capacitors so these capacitors has the effect of removing inequalities in ssr self capacitances so the value of this shunt connected capacitor c is equal to n minus 1 into delta q divided by n vbm minus vs so in case of series connected ssrs we can connect static equalizing resistances in parallel with each ssr in order to avoid the unequal voltage sharing during static conditions so this is the static equalizing circuit also we can connect the capacitors in parallel with the ssrs to avoid unequal voltage sharing during dynamic conditions so here we are using a series combination of resistor and capacitor it is similar to that of a snubber circuit we discussed earlier here we are using a diode d this diode is placed across the resistor r to bypass the resistor during the charging time of the capacitor so this is the dynamic equalizing circuit thank you